Okay, it's it's Asif Khan, the man with the briefcase of Shack News. We're here with Bruce with Altspace VR, a very innovative company that has done something really cool. And I'd just like to talk to you about what you're doing and the challenges that you've seen. Yeah, absolutely. Be happy to talk about it. Cool. So uh, one of the things that you've done is create a virtual reality web browser. And I was wondering, uh, you know, one of the challenges that I think a lot of companies are facing is text in VR. Uh, how did you guys create such a crisp uh, text experience in VR? A lot of iteration on the type of uh, textures and materials that we're uh, rendering. Also, a lot of readability tests that we doing uh, that we did. Make sure that we're going through a lot of people, see where those distances in real time 3D are to uh, have comfortable reading level, and then doing some tweaking in the customized browser we have within VR to make sure that every web page you visit has that level of text as a, a minimum level size uh, level of text in it so uh, yeah some work <laughs> very cool and uh, I think one of the other major innovations is there there aren't many true uh, interactive chat based multiplayer or multi-user experiences in VR uh, how many users could be in alt space VR in one of your spaces simultaneously we're still trying to figure that out. So we have periodic beta access weekends. We're in closed beta now. Uh, I've been in a room, one room with uh, 50 people all at once screaming just to see if we can crash the uh, voice bandwidth and it didn't. So <laughs> we're still trying to get more people in the space all at once. Uh, overall in all space, different rooms, we've had you know hundreds of people in. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're, we're still trying to push the limit. But uh, we have, we've had a whole lot of people in there and communicating and uh, hanging out in VR at the same time. And I think an, another cool thing that I noticed was that, you know, I, we were able to, each of us have our own personal browser screen within uh, Altspace, but then you can share it to this giant screen that we all share. Uh, the one thing that I thought was really funny is when I put up a YouTube, uh, we could hear everyone laughing simultaneously. What were the challenges in uh, dealing with the latency uh, issues? Lots. Uh, we went through a whole gamut of VoIP solutions to try to get not only positional audio, but get it synchronized uh, and, and have it uh, you know, meet our bandwidth parameters and standards. Uh, one of the things we're really focused on is nurturing a natural connection in VR with people. Uh, that goes from the environment, the avatars, and of course the, the sound and synchronizing all of that so it feels like I'm in the same room with you and not that we're disconnected and asynchronous, right? So uh, yeah, it was a, a, a lot of uh, iteration. I think with VR, it's always iteration, trying things, seeing, making mistakes and going back and fixing so. Uh, so the other question I have is that because Altspace is so versatile, uh, do you see yourself almost as a platform for communications or is it also going to be a platform for gaming? Yeah, we're trying to be a, a social platform uh, for not only communication, uh, but presentations. We want to be able to have a one-to-many presentation in VR and have that be a really cool experience. Uh, we want to facilitate browser gaming, which would be really neat, uh, and also help you know developers, specifically web developers, to make VR experiences powered by the web within Altspace and let us handle the social backbone of that. Like, if you want to make a multiplayer VR game right now, you're talking about, okay, avatars, how are these people communicating? How is the head tracking gonna work? How is the networking gonna work? And that's like 80% of the work that you're doing before you even get to what your game is about, right? And uh, we see ourselves in the future of being the, like kind of the social backbone of social VR experiences, and then we can enable developers to build other stuff on top of uh, the already established social experience that we've you know, thoughtfully designed. Uh, have any other developers that are interested in multiplayer VR reached out to you to maybe license some of this technology? Absolutely. I mean, we're, right now we're developing an SDK uh, so that developers, especially those familiar with JavaScript, WebGL, and 3.js, could take what they've made and spawn it into VR. Uh, so it's all basically in VR content that's powered by the web. Uh, we're reaching out to developers now. We're going to partner with uh, very few to get some content going, do some first party in-house stuff. Uh, but yeah, absolutely, we're, we're looking for developers that are interested in VR, passionate about it, have that web developer skill set, which is very cool, and uh, they can leverage that and make some cool stuff. And I, and I noticed that uh, on the DK2 itself, you have Leap Motion mounted. Uh, and you know, uh, to navigate through the browser still requires a keyboard and a mouse. Can you speak to the difficulties that 
VR is experiencing when it comes to human interface device? Absolutely. Uh, that's something that's talked about the, at our offices constantly. Uh, so a VR experience, what makes VR communication better than doing Skype or a phone call or anything else is that you have this nonverbal communication, which is fantastic. So we've got the headset where you can lean in on people, you can do a little dance or you know whatever, and that's cool. But I want to also wave. I want to give you a thumbs up. I want to be able to present and have all of my body language, uh, you know, the, you know that communicated. Uh, to, uh, at a certain point, I'm going to want my facial expressions captured so I can get that too. And right now, the technology is really, you know, it's it's being developed. We have a lot of development kits. We're working with stuff. Connect, Intel RealSense, Leap, uh, you know, all types of things. But we're trying to get the rest of you into VR, and it's. Uh, it's one of those things where you know there's certain things that are in good shape and we could do some things with and, and certain things that are not and uh, everyone has a mouse a keyboard and a smartphone and that's kind of where you have to start you know so many people think this is just about gaming but i think your company is one of those companies that proves that it's much bigger than that and i just want to thank you for spending time with us today oh man thank you and i'm glad to see you uh, enjoyed it so much and we look forward to uh, impressing you more and stay tuned to shacknews.com for all things vr i think i broke it I tend to break VR.